In a previous video, we built a very simple view based on Islandora content filtered by subject. To build a more elaborate view, we'll go to Views, add a new view, and we'll call this our Advanced Cat View. And this time, instead of building it around content, we're going to build it based on media. And we'll focus on images. We'll create a page. And I'll add a menu link so I can easily get to that page when I'm done. I'll put that into the main navigation. And we save and we go directly into the views editor. And here we get a preview and it's just showing the name of all of the files that match those sorting criteria. Media type image. So we'll make a simple change to put this into a grid view instead of a list. And instead of having it list the name, we'll get rid of that field. And we want to show the image itself instead. So we'll look for that field in the list. We'll have a look now. We're seeing the images themselves instead of the names of the files. But we're seeing all image based media, which includes thumbnails, original files. So we'll add a filter so that we only see one type. So, what we're looking for here is the media use. What is the media being used for? Our taxonomies, Islandora media use. And let's work with the service file in this case, the file that was generated from the original file that was uploaded, but not the thumbnail. All right, now we're down to at least only one image per Islandora item. But they're displayed fairly inconsistently, so we're going to change how those images are handled. We want to use the Islandora image formatter. And we have a number of options for image style that uh, come with Drupal. None of these are quite what we're looking for, so let's build our own. We'll go into the image styles editor and we're going to add a new one. I want these images to be displayed in scaled squares. So we'll call this a square crop. And we'll add a new effect. I want to scale and crop. I get to set the width and height. Make these 300 by 300. All right, now we'll save this new effect go back to our view editor. It's not there yet, so we'll have to close that pop-up window and open it up again. And now when we go to image styles, square crop is available to us. So we'll apply that. And now when we look at our preview, all of our images are displayed consistently. But there are some dogs, and this is supposed to be a cat view, so we need to add an additional filter. What we did with the simple view from the basic lesson was just add a, the subject field as a filter. But when we try to do that here, it's not available to us because we're working with media. So in order to get access to that subject filter, we need to tell the view what the relationship is between the media and the node and the island or content that it belongs to. So this is determined by field content referenced from media field of. So we will add that relationship. Now when we go to our filter criteria, we will see 
that all of the fields on the main mode content are available to us. So we can go down here and find subject field. And we'll add that and, conf and configure some criteria. We want to filter on the subject taxonomy. And we only want pictures of cats. So we'll look for nodes that have the cats taxonomy associated with them in the subject field. And here we have nicely formatted images of cats. So we'll save that view and go see it out in our main site. And since when we first created it, we clicked that Create Menu button. We already have an option here. So this is the basic cat view from the earlier lesson, and this is the advanced cat view. But we see when we click on these, they don't take us anywhere. So we need to make one more change to our view. And we'll use this shortcut to go directly to the views editor. And for our image, we want to make sure we're on the Amador image formatter here. And we need to link the image to the content. We'll apply that change. Go back and have a look at our view. And now when we click, we go directly to the Island Door object with the Open Sea Dragon Viewer. For more information about Island Door, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.